Okay, so I said there would be two parts of this, so I'm going to put my phone back down. So this one might, is going to be short. That one's going to be 15 minutes. This is going to probably be finished up. So I was talking about getting rid of some of this. Um, I really don't know. I use these on my kids more than I use these on myself. Um, and I've paid for these, so I don't really want to throw them out. So I'm going to put them back in this makeup bag that holds everything. Um, I've also gotten free samples of, like, cleansing stuff and herbal essence. I don't like herbal essence. My face wipes are the Target brand, but I usually get the cover. I usually get the really good ones. They just didn't have any in stock. My bottom. Um, I also have my old makeup blending bag, my old makeup wedges. Um, I don't have a blending, but I chose not to ever do it. This is over here is got the scrubby in it. I'm going to probably dispose of this because we don't need it. Um, these things are going to go in here. Um, I stay pretty clean of my, um, of my, um, of my, keep it clean. I don't like having a lot of stuff, um, in my extra stuff I don't need. So, I'm trying to keep everything cleaned up as I go. Because I'm finding rubber bands everywhere as I pick these up. So, um, everybody asks me, you used to wear makeup, what happened? I became a mom. That's what's happened. Um, I actually didn't smell any of these before I put them away. I think I... If you have seen a brand that I have and you're like, oh yeah, it's great, let me know because I'm seeing you're going, I don't know about these half these brands. This one just like got all over my pants. That one didn't smell too bad. I'm picking up rubber bands because my kids in their rubber bands. This is a hand moisturizer. So let me see what it smells. Oh, it's sealed. I'm not going to even try. I'll wait till next time. And this one is a cleanser. Doesn't smell too bad. Um, I try to work through my products if I can. Um, this is for all skin types, it actually says, and it's sealed. So we'll wait. And I've used. Oh, this one smells good. So I'm going to put that in that bag and back. Um, so I kind of keep my makeup to a minimum. I don't, I don't change up bright eyeshadows or anything. Um, so I have two bags here. A whole bunch of like a rubber bands I don't need and medicines that I probably can get rid of. I have a, one of these two is a first aid kit. I wanted to show it to you guys. Um, and then I'll show you guys the rest of my stuff real fast. Uh, this is a scrub for the body. This is for my nose, the Biore strips for the nose. This is a face mask that is citrus, so it should be really good. It's over here. And then this is, uh, I've done this. It's not too bad. At least my face is a little oily, so I don't really love it, but I'm not getting rid of it because it's expensive as well. Naughtiness. So I did get rid of some. Put this one in here because I can't get the, I can't get this box open if I try it right now. Oh, there it goes. Ah, I just had it. It's got its own little like compact in here. So little. Oh, it's a eyeshadow. It's a highlighter. I'm actually gonna get rid of the packaging because that's a pain in the butt to open. So, makeup done. Um, I told you guys I would show you guys what I carry in my purse. So, this I carry in my purse with me. It's a lipstick, lip balm. This is my basic makeup. Um, my kids play in it, so it actually closes now. I did close prior. Um, so, these are two, three, three of the bags. I've got a fourth one someplace. I don't know where it's at. I've got a fourth one someplace that's got... Um, cords in it and chargers in it and then it's a really cool bag. I'm wondering if it's in my food. And I will discuss this food with you because I love I love me some Del Taco. Um I don't see it. Oh here it is. Okay. Here's the other one. I've got like two more, three more. This one has got my GoPro in it. The iPhone cord. 
the this is the GoPro battery, the GoPro, and it's got my Girl Scout badge in it, which I gotta return to my other troop leader. So that is that. That is what I carry in that one. This one I normally put in. Um, I actually have another cord in here. This is for my daughter's uh, tablet, so I do keep that one with me because I gotta keep that charged because she's a fanatic on that one. Um, and then I keep my my. I put, I put a wall charger in here on the weekends, and I put a cord for my phone in here. So in case we have to charge my phone or going places. So that's in my purse also. This one is my nails um, because I keep my nails pretty well um, together now. So I keep all my nail stuff in here. I'm gonna. Um, this is going to go in here. And these are going to go back in my bathroom. That one and that one are in the bathroom. This one I think is already in the bathroom. I don't know. So this one I keep just for my nails when my nails are done because I don't like to have a broken nail. These two are the fun ones. One of these is my first aid kit. Let's see which one that is. It's this one. So um, having kids and traveling, I keep a first aid, I have my own little first aid kit together. Um, because I carry my nails, I won't be needing the baby one anymore. So I carry Kleenex in my first aid kit. I carry hand sanitizer because I'm a germaphobe sometimes. I carry hair ties because I have all girls. Oh. And I carry a pair of tweezers because my kids are always somebody prone to get hurt on something. And because I'm a Girl Scout leader, we keep that stuff going. This can go with this. Um, I try to keep medicines and pills so the kids don't see them. So I have a, um, in case somebody gets a tooth and you need to clean their teeth, got the teeth things. I've got my headband for somebody who needs it. Lots of hair ties because we got all girls in our church of, brown, of girls. Um, I carry the tape and a bobby pin because you never know. I carry a smattering of band-aids. And when we go places, I carry this with me. So this is my go-to, like, somebody needs a band-aid. Um, I also carry cough drops. I got some of the rest of my cough drops and my Neosporin. Um, this Neosporin lost its cap last time we opened it. So that is what I carry in my own homemade first aid kit. Um, I typically also throw in some Tylenol or ibuprofen. I think that's on my desk, actually. And that's for more for the adults than it is the kids. Is it over here? Yes, it is. And I've got both. I've got the kids, chewable, Advil, and I believe this is a full bottle of ibuprofen or Tylenol. Or combination of the two and that's all ibuprofen so I carry the ibuprofen with us too so when we go places these things go in they don't necessarily fit in this bag but they do go with us so that goes there um, there's the charger I need and the, the, those scissors go in my first aid kit also um, they've been pulled out for numerous other reasons going places so first aid kit everything's ready we have a girl scout weekend this weekend so it should be lots of fun and then this one is my go-to thermometer I gotta go in there I can't throw that one away because this one belongs to one of the girls oh not that there's nothing really in the bottom of that so I'm not too worried about that um, this is because I've got so many girls in our little troop of kids that I kind of want to get make sure we have sweets. Um, I have everything in here. I have a little bit of everything, minus the chocolate. I don't leave chocolate in my purse because chocolate is more likely to bin. i got to get a couple more of those put in my purse for the weekend because you never know. And I've got mints and jelly beans and taffy in here. Um, you'd think I was a candyaholic. I am. You never know when you're going to end up with the movies. Um, this weekend I'll put a little treat bag together for everybody. We're going to be doing um, a hike this weekend. So most of this will end up in a backpack and I'll carry it. Um, but yeah, that's about all. I also carry other things in my purse. Um, it just depends. Our Girl Scout troop has a bin that I keep with prizes and stuff in it. So that's there. Um... But, on the side note, my purse is on the other side of the table, so, on the side note, I do need to let you guys know that if you've purchased 
This is a for, fair warning to everybody. If you've purchased a Peppa Pig um, puzzle from the Dollar Tree, so I was like gloating about it. Be careful. I opened it up and my daughter's puzzle was a boy puzzle and she about had a meltdown. I've never in my life seen her have a meltdown like this. So it was kind of like, oh, you're going to have a meltdown for me? Great. At night, 8, 30, 8 o'clock at night. The company gave me 30% off items of my total that I purchased off their website. They're full of shit. They were not helpful. They sent me a little thing. Oh, thank you. It's, it's, it's a problem. Then I went to the store and we opened up eight of them. The two, one that I had there, one more we opened there and more of them there. And they were not the right puzzle. They got these for Easter and they're saying, oh, it's Peppa Pig. It's cute. No, it's not Peppa Pig. So I got a full refund and got my daughter. Elena, oops, upside down. Elena, 50 pieces. The other one was 24 whatever um me and doug have gotten to this kick of let's do puzzles so i got this one's 300 pieces and it's a lighthouse i bought that today i got these today also i want a puzzle thing because i want to this one's got two puzzles for a dollar i got two puzzles and they're both of puzzles are 200 piece 240 pieces and they're these ones are candy they're cute I mean, it's a fun little thing. If you can do puzzles, great. This one's tropical. It's like food and you got the bird. Then I found this one and I love it. I'm going to frame it. I think I put it in my kitchen. It's vegetables. I love it. It's cute. It's 500 pieces. These ones are um, 300, 240. There's two puzzles in each one. This is, this is, this goes to my heart and my love, my lovely little seven year old is going to freak out. It's R2D2. And it's from the new movie, and I'm going to put it together, and I'm going to glue it, and I'm going to put it on the wall. Because this is a cool, let's see it better on the back, R2-D2 is her favorite character. So I've got all these puzzles for me and Doug to do. We're working on one right now, it's Dark Vader, it's 100 pieces. We should get that done so shortly, but yes. And once again, I make it over to my favorite place to be. Um, I also carry paper and pen in my purse at all times. So yeah, this is the end of my makeup. Makeup, get rid of my makeup. Um, there's a little bit down in the bag, not as much as you would think. But I got some cleaning house to do. I got some stuff to take care of, and I'm waiting to see if it's gonna rain. They're saying around six o'clock in about two hours it's supposed to start raining. We'll see if I actually get rain because I see sun and lots and lots and lots of wind. So we'll see. California, you never know. So hopefully you guys had a great day eleven purging your makeup. I kind of do it naturally anyways. Um, and I probably should do one on my nail. I got a whole bunch of nail polish. And some of it's gross. Also, I got Del Taco today. Dollar menu. Two crunch tatas. No sauce. If they mess up my crunch tatas, they're going to get a nasty little letter. But as I look around, I got a mess to clean. And I think I'm not going to over wait to tackle my desk until after the weekend because... I'm going to end up dumping more stuff on my desk. So, thank you for watching. Click subscribe. Leave me a comment below. Follow me on Instagram, P-A-Y-T-A-Y-M-1-C at Instagram. Also, it's Karenza, K-A-R-E-N-Z-A, S-A-M-C-O-F-F -F on Facebook. Click it and like it. Um, you can also find me on, um, you know, follow me on YouTube. Email me. My email is K-A-R-E-N-Z-A-H-A-N-S-E-N at Yahoo, at Gmail, not Yahoo, at Gmail now. Follow me. Let me know what you guys think. Have a good rest of your Wednesday, and I'm going to clean house now because there's nobody here. Have a good day, you guys. Bye.